Hey there, it's Dave with Flipper Forest, and I'm excited to share that we just launched our new project updates feature that will allow you to post progress updates and daily logs on your projects. So that way you and your entire team, your business partners and lenders can stay up to date on everything happening on your projects. So one thing to note before we get started is this new project updates feature is only included in our teams and business plan subscriptions, which include our team collaboration functionality. So if you are currently on a solo plan and want a better way to collaborate with your team, this could be a good opportunity to explore our team's plans. And so if you do have any questions about our team's plan, just please reach out in chat or send us an email. So if you are on a team's or business plan uh, subscription, you're going to see a new feature group in the left sidebar called Project Pulse. And so the Project Pulse area is where you're going to find all of the important information that you need to know to keep a pulse on your project. So under Project Pulse, you'll notice we still have the, the project overview page, which is the main landing page with the high level info about the stage, the status and the milestones for the project. You're also going to see we, you still have the activity log, which gives you visibility into every software activity that your teammates are, are doing on your project. And now you have your new project updates feature, which is where you and your team can post project updates, daily log in progress reports to keep everyone on your team informed and up to date on what's happening on the project. So let's show you how it works. So you can see on this project, we've already posted a few example project updates so that I can walk you through some examples here on how you can use these features. So let's, let's go ahead and just scroll all the way down to the bottom and start from the beginning. So you can see down here at the bottom, down here at the beginning back in May 17, this is when we initially walked through the property and performed our initial walkthrough and really examined what the scope of work was gonna be. So we ended up creating a project update and posted some of our notes about the condition of the property here. And we also uploaded some photos of, of what the property currently looks like. So for example, when we, when we look at this, this update here, it says, hey, I just walked through the property. It's in pretty bad shape. The property needs you know, an exterior makeover and some heavy interior rehab with some new systems, kitchens and baths flooring throughout. You'll also see that we have it broken down into different sections. So our the way that our, our text um, editor works is we do allow you to add in different formatting here. So you can see there's a heading at the top. You can also see we've broken this down by exterior work. And then we have uh, a list here basically saying, hey, we've got a new roof that we need, new windows, exterior painting, landscaping. We also have an interior work section where we've got another list listing out all of the interior work that needs to happen. And then down here at the bottom, we have a bunch of our property photos. So these are the existing property photos showing the existing condition of the property. And so this is our very first project update that we've posted to this project. And this was our initial walkthrough notes and photos that we've taken for the property. So our project update feature, it can be used at the very beginning whenever you're doing your due diligence of a project. It can also be used to you know, post about milestones on the project. So you can see on you know, May 22nd, we said, hey, we've got our closing date set. It's gonna be uh, set for June 1st. So we've got a very quick closing coming up. And then you can see on June 1st, that's when we posted, hey, we've officially closed on the property and taken possession. Um, it looks like we've got demolition contractors that are gonna be on site this week. We are currently soliciting bids from contractors for various scopes of work and we'll begin rough in work next week. So, so again, you can use it for, you know, posting uh, updates up front when you're initially doing your due diligence. But once you actually take possession of a property, you can start to use it to post updates, um, keeping everybody up to date on uh, progress updates as you start construction. So you'll notice on June 7th, we posted another new update here. And this one we're, we're posting about some challenges that we're running into on the project. So this one here is talking about some aluminum wiring challenges that we are facing that we discovered initially here once we got, got into the walls and talked to our electrician. So it's basically saying, hey, we were originally thinking that we could salvage this aluminum wiring and just do some pigtails on the outlets. Unfortunately, our electricians kind of telling us that it'd probably be better to rewire the whole house. And so 
um, we're using this project updates feature to also post about challenges that we're seeing on site. And you can see we also posted some photos here showing some pictures of the wiring and that the existing outlets here. Um, we also have another note here that we found some bats behind the shutter. So another challenge there is uh, we ran into some bats that were living in the property that we did not expect. Um, if we keep going further in time here, you can also use it to post all of your construction progress photos as you start to build out your finishes, install tiling, flooring, cabinetry, stuff like that. So if we just fast forward through this project to like July 10th, you can see we're, we're using it to say, hey, final tiling got installed on this property. It's got the, the entry tile has been installed. The backsplashes have been installed in the kitchen. Again, we posted some photos here to just show um, the tile flooring that was installed in the entry and the backsplashes there as well. And so again, this can be a way for you to, to post uh, construction progress updates. So that way all of your team members um, know what's going on on site. But also if you had invited you know, lenders to the platform or external business partners or private money lenders, you'd be able to post these updates to them as well. So that way they can see what's happening. You're giving them full transparency to everything that's going on on your property. So we, we, we've got some more updates here for you know carpet and trim and uh, tile being installed here. Um, we've got another update here for landscaping being installed. So it looks like it's basically saying, hey, the landscaping got installed. Our final punch list items are the only thing that's remaining. So we've got some paint touch-ups, some appliance hookups, and final cleaning basically are the, the final items that we need to get done. So those are some examples of how you can use this. Um, I also do wanna show you just how you can post a new update. So let's show, show you how you can create an update. So if you wanna create an update, you'll just click that create update button in the upper right hand corner. And you'll see you've got a couple different options here for posting your update. First, you can type out some text here um, and write a description of what that update's gonna be. Then you can also update your, your photos and pick a display time. So let's first start with the text. So let's let's write an update basically saying, hey, we've got this property ready to go and it's, it's going to be ready for uh, listing on the market and ready to be uh, an open house on Sunday or something like that. So we can start typing this in here and we could say, okay, all punch list items have been completed and the cleaners were on site today. They performed the final cleaning. The property is ready to go online on Thursday and we've got the open house on Sunday. And so once you get that all typed in, you'll, you'll notice that you can also create headings and lists and other stuff like that. So if you really want to bold a certain font or add a heading here at the top, um, we could add in a heading here. Maybe we wanna just say, hey, Thursday is the go live date and we've got an open house on Sunday. So now we've got a nice heading at the top here. We've got a description and then you can also attach photos. So you can click this add photos option here and you'll notice that you've got three different options for adding photos to your project update. Um, you can upload new photos. So this would be photos that you're wanting to upload from your existing device. So if you were on your phone, you'd be able to upload your photos directly from your phone or you could upload them from your computer. Or the other two options here are if you want to upload existing photos. So if you've already uploaded photos to the platform for this project, you could go into your, your project documents or your photo log and select existing photos that you've already previously uploaded. So that way you don't, you're not re-uploading the same photos multiple times into the platform. So I'm just gonna pick a, a couple final photos here just showing the, the final completed product, uh, product here for our, our post. And then I'm gonna click add photos. And so now you can see those photos have been added to our, our post. And now the final thing that we need to do is pick a display time. And so you've got two different options for uh, the time that you can post your project update. You can display it immediately, which will basically post on today's date and time, or you can go back in time and do a selected date. So this would allow you to post the date at a date in the past, or you could even post at a date in the future. And so once you get the, the display time selected, you'll just click on save project update and your post will be posted to the project update timeline. 
So we hope you love our new project updates feature and it really empowers you and your team to collaborate and stay informed on your project progress. If you do have any additional feedback on how we can improve this feature or communication and collaboration on your projects in general, please let us know.